just about 40 miles northeast of Chattanooga, sits one of the most historically significant areas in our region. The banks of the Hiawassee River, currently the dividing line between Bradley and McMinn County, was the centerpiece for the forced removal of the Cherokee and Creek Indians during the Trail of Tears. Just 22 years later, the Civil War came to town. To take and hold the railroad at or east of Cleveland, Tennessee, I think is as fully as important as the taking and holding of Richmond. Abraham Lincoln. To take and hold the railroad bridge here was the big thing that both sides wanted to do. Uh, the, the bridge was destroyed on one occasion and was damaged on a couple of other occasions. Due to the significance of this one bridge, several officers on both sides of the conflict made Charleston a stop in their operations. As depicted in this artwork, the Henniger House on Cass Street was a stopover for both Union and Confederate officers while bridge occupation and reconstruction occurred. Mr. Henniger was a Union sympathizer and Mrs. Henniger was a Confederate lady through and through. Um, she, from, her, from their daughter's diary, we know that she uh, talked with General Sherman when he stayed at their house and General Sherman said, ma'am, you need to take your family and, and leave the South. And she said, sir, this is my home and I will stay here. And her family lived in that home until the late 1970s. Another important piece of history in Charleston sits just about three blocks up the road. History is all around you throughout this region. And one of those tangible things that really makes history come alive here were the Cumberland Presbyterian Church. Check out the windowsill. This is uh, where the horses used to gnaw on the window waiting for the riders to come back out. Of course, this church was used as a command post in a hospital. When they renovated this church after the Civil War, they asked that this remain the same just to keep a bit of that history alive. Some of the history here, as well as many other places in America, has a dark and ugly period. But it is from this history that we must learn and we must get better. And that's what the Hiawassee River Heritage Center is trying to do. It just amazed me the national significance of the history that was here that I was never told about as a child. I mean, how do you take your grandchild and put them on your knee and say, come here, son, let me tell you what we did to the Native Americans that lived here? Or how do you say, look, I want to tell you about uh, my grandfather on my dad's side was a Confederate. My great uncle on my mom's side was a Unionist. They fought against each other in the war. I think there was a time in this town that nobody wanted to tell it. Yeah. Uh, but now, you know, we want to make sure this, that the story is told.